All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more Duelists. I, like I said, I find this game a little bit interesting, and I wanna I wanna play a little bit more. I wanna have a little bit more fun with this. So let's go ahead and hop into more practice games. I wanna try and unlock all the different generals. It seems like beating them is how I'm gonna unlock them. So let's see. Oh, uh, remember we got our new quest of win two practice games. So now we just need to play two more practice games. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. So we have practice here. There's other different modes. There's season ladder. There's solo challenges, frostfire mode, and gauntlet. And to beat all these, I'm sorry, to unlock all these, it looks like we need to complete starter quests. All right. Uh, so then next it wants to be a go against Vitruvian Imperium. I Honestly, I think I want to keep at Lionar Kingdoms. Let's keep at Lionar Kingdoms so we can go Vitruvian Imperium as our opponent. Xerix. Xerix is our enemy, and we're on the blue side, so we're going second, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Choose our starting hand. We have the Petra Defla or Dread Flayer, a 2-4 for 3 with flying. Necroseer. Windblade Adept. I like this guy. I like this guy so far. And we have the Artifact and the Spell. Uh, to be honest, I think I want to send back Necroseer. Damn. Damn, we got our Tid Tid. The Dry Bone Golem. My dumb ass didn't unmute the game. That's okay. We'll be fine. And right, so he's going to move and summon an Ethereal Obelisk. It can't attack, but it summons a Dervish. At the start of your turn, summon a 2 2 Wind Dervish with a Rush nearby. It disappears. Yo, I like, I like cards like this. This game is pretty. It's reminiscent to a lot of the different uh, CCGs that I played over my life. I played a lot. I like cards like this that themselves don't attack, but they summon things that can help you. Oh, it can't move or attack. Damn, and it has rush. I need to. I want to know what rush does. I feel like rush is gonna be what's what's really good. As long as he doesn't move, pretty much he's good. So rush, it can move and attack immediately. Okay, I should have. I should have seen that one coming. A uh, two-two iron dervish at a random space nearby the general. Yeah. Okay, so I guess he should have stayed. Oh, he's going to attack here. I was going to say, I guess he should have stayed nearby this so that we had to come to him so that the wind dervishes can attack. I think I like this general so far. I think I like him the most. He's a, he's a, a token creator, and I like I likes that shit. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we have four mana. We can summon both, both uh, wind blade adepts. What we can do is move him. Oh, we have flying. He can move anywhere. So what we could do is come here and attack this so it stops summoning the dervishes. And I think I can put him right here and, and they'll be safe from the dervishes. But he's probably just going to move back and attack it. But I think that's, that's truly what I need for him to get away from the, the mana. Uh, let's see. We can move him here. And then we can actually bring out both Windblade Adepts. We can make them super strong. They both got zeal. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and give our general destructible. And then do we want to throw back the dry bone golem? I don't think we do. We're at what? Four mana. We'll have five next turn. We could probably steal this. I think we want to keep, keep uh, the dry bone golem. We're going to keep them for now. All right, so he summoned this. It actually can move to kill me. It's got, it's got. What do, I want to? I would like to know what determines. Oh, I guess. Okay. Any, any, anything on the battlefield can move two squares, and then attack for another. Attack outside another. Okay, I, I'm guessing that's what the, what the math is on movement. Because at first it looked like he had a large range for movement. But it could have just been the outer barrier. Alright, so let's see. He's got that mana. He stole the mana. We can go up here. Actually, let's go attack this thing. Let's bring this bad boy down. 
and then we can attack. No more dervishes. No more dervishes for you. And so we hit him and he hit us. Okay, let's see. Bloodbound spell. We can make him ridiculous. Let's make him ridiculous. All right, so he's a 5-3 for now. I can see him attacking us next turn and not the not the adept. Not the adept. I, we're done, right? We can't do anything else. We can throw stuff back. I think we want to keep all the stuff we have right now. All right, yeah, he's moving up. Oh, he's still going to attack the adept. Fine by me. Because I can bring this boy back. He'll get the bonus points, and then we can attack in. I think that's the win, isn't it? Well, no, it's close. It's close. We're not there yet. He brought out the Primus Shield Master. It's got provoked. So it stops nearby enemy minions from moving. They must attack this first. Dang. Dang. So we have to attack this guy. If we're going to attack, we have to attack here. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to bring him down. We've got our own shield master. And he's got three attack. So let's put him here. We'll come in here. He gets the bonus. We can attack this guy. And then we can attack him again. And now he has to attack our shield master. And now we can bring him back. Do we want that mana instead? Nah, it's not gonna help us. Let's bring him back. We go to war. And that's it for the turn. Yep, like I said, we didn't need a dry bone golem. A 10 10 for seven is not getting played. It's not getting played unless the game is over. I, I, I have an understanding for my card games. I won't say I know my card games. I'll say I have an understanding for how how mana systems work, really. All right, so we've got Bloodbound, or, or Roar back, excuse me. Uh, here's Drybone Golem, a little bit late to the party, but valued nonetheless. Oh, we're out of mana. I was going to have him go to war. That's two down. Victory. Two enemy generals down. We've leveled up. We've got the Vitruvian Empire Imperium. Honestly, I think I like them because of his. Uh, what was it? Where, where is it? The oh, he doesn't have it. I guess I have to unlock it. The the structure. I think it was. I, I like I like that effect so much. That's so cool. And like you can do so much with that if you're if you're clever. I give a friendly one one and then draw draw a card. Pyromancer is a two one with blast. Attack all enemies and generals in one straight line. Bruh, I'm I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing the Vitruvian Imperial. Staff of Ikir. General gets two attack. We have the Entropic Decay spell. Destroy an enemy minion nearby your general. And then Wind Strike. Flying and Dying Wish. Draw a card. I'm, I am I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Uh, the the Lionar Kingdom is not bad, but I like, I like the Vitruvian Empire a lot. All right, let's do one more. Let's lock one more today. Uh, let's see. The Abyssian Host is our next recommended opponent. Here we go. Abyssian versus Lionar. Lilith Blycaster. To be honest, I don't think I like her art style. It looks a little different than uh, than our boy High Main. All right, what we got? Looks like we got a bunch of minions in our hand. Uh, we're going second, so we're going to have one extra mana. We've got the Lizzie and Brawler. I feel like this boy, I feel like this boy here is gonna be the one today. Uh, Storm Metal Golem. I think I'll send this back. Again, a six, a six mana is not gonna help us out early. We need early help. I at least need to stand up before we fight. You know, I'm gonna just send this one back. And right, we got another Brawler. All right, so she's going first. What's her thing? Shadow Spawn. Summon two Wraithlings nearby your general. I feel like this going to be good. I feel like this is going to be good. 
He's going to summon a Gloom Chaser with opening Gambit. Summon a 1-1 one, one Wraithling in a nearby place. So this is the Wraithling. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. All right, this time we get to play the Adept, or we can go Golem. Bloodshot Golem. I think if she's got all this stuff that lets her summon extra stuff, I think we need to play big first. As much as I love the Adept, I think we need to go big first. And, of course, we can steal that mana. We can steal that mana. Let's do that. All right, let's do. She's probably going to kill this guy, which is, is fine. Demon lure. Demonic lure. What did it do? I ain't get to see it. I ain't get to see it. Oh, it returned it to my oh to the other side of the field. How oh battle log, perfect. Deal one damage to an enemy minion teleported anywhere. It's actually really smart. And another. Where's she teleporting this time? Same spot. Okay. Oh, over there. She's just toying with my with my toys now. It's fine, I can move in and go to war. Uh let's see. We can also bring ourselves closer. Move him here. And then she can't come and kill my stuff so easily, which would be nice. All right, so now he's got provoke, so that means he has to be attacked first. Uh, anybody nearby here can't move, and they have to attack him first, which I'm actually 100% okay with. 100% okay with that. So we could throw a card back, but to be honest, I think all the cards we have in our hand are pretty good to have. I think they're all pretty good. So she's got her two Wraithlings coming up. So if it's gonna do anything, it has to attack this guys. She played the Shoals Shatter Pack. Soul Shatter Pack, where'd it go? Uh, give all friendly minions plus two attack. Oh, sad face. Sad face. Abyssal Crawler. At the end of your turn, turn a nearby space into Shadow Creep. Deals damage to enemy minions in general standing on at the end of the turn. So this is at the end. Of, what, what did it do? What space did it do? Did it pick a space? I'm going to guess this space I'm standing on. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're going to do. We could kill this guy. We could also play a brawler, which would be perfect for right now. Oh shoot, I forgot. I have restrictions on where I play brawlers. Okay, let's uh, let's bring him down. Move him in. We could attack here. Uh, let's see. If we play the brawler, we're gonna want it near. Us, obviously, right? Here we go. So a brawler's a 4-4, but it actually attacks twice, so it's really like it's an 8-4 if it doesn't die after the first attack. Demonic lore. All right, so that's three lures. I'm not sure if there is a limit on how many copies of one card you can have in your deck. But if it's three, she has no more demonic lures. My stuff's not going to teleport across the field anymore. Remember, you can replace cards. I remember. Leave me alone. Like, I don't think I, I, I don't think I've had any bad cards worth replacing. Like, even now, this guy is amazing. She has no more demonic lures. She can't, she can't be a jerk. So let's see. If I attack with this and this next turn, that's that's what eight points. If it doesn't die after the first attack, and then three more if this guy's still nearby me, that's eleven. That's better than playing Storm Metal Golem this turn and hoping it survives. So let's go here. End here. She's got no lures. She's got no lures. He's got no lures, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, we can give him roar. We can give the brawler roar, and it gets a bonus two attack. So that's really six twice. That's 12 if he doesn't die after the first attack. 
Magic. Oh, Wraithling Swarm. Summon three one one Wraithlings nearby each other. Mm, bruh. I get it. I understand. Let's see. Divine Bond. Give a minion attack equal to its health. Bruh. This guy is OP right now. Okay. Divine Bond with the Lysian Brawler. So we're going to give him attack equal to his health. So he's now an 8-4. We give a roar. He's a 10-4. That attacks twice if he doesn't die after the first attack. O-P. The most damage. Overkill. I think it's safe to say that I not only have an understanding of this game, but I enjoy this game. To a level four reward, we got Silver Guard Knight. It's a one five minion with Provoke and Zeal. Uh, if it's nearby me, he's gonna get two attack. And minions nearby can't move away and have to attack this guy. This guy is clearly gonna be one of my favorites. I like, I like when cars get stronger under certain circumstances and then they have to be attacked and they have a lot of defense. I like that. Silver Guard Knight. I need to build a deck with this boy. Went to practice game, so we got a hundred gold. Dope. So we have, there's, oh, we unlocked a, a busy and host. Let's check out our card before I go and talk about stuff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so we saw our Bloodbound spell. She summons two Wraithlings nearby. Uh, Horn of the Forsaken is an artifact. Whenever your general deals damage, summon a 1-1. One, one. I like this. I like this type of stuff, too. It gives incentive to attack. It makes, it makes her attack better. Uh, Gloom Chaser, we've seen him opening Gambit, summon a 1-1. One, one. Wraithling in a random nearby space. Shadow Watcher is a 2-2 two, two for 3 with Death Watch gains 1 attack. Triggers effect whenever any minion dies. This is pretty dope. Wraithling Swarm. Summon 3 1-1 one, one Wraithlings nearby each other. And then Dark Transformation. Destroy an enemy minion and summon a 1-1 one, one Wraithling in that space. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. Oh, so daily free card. We get a free card of the day. Oh, press any word to reveal. The Cascading Rebirth. Destroy a friendly minion to summon a random Magmar minion that costs one more. That's dope. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so we got our daily free card. It seems as though your daily free card is available more often than daily, unless this is just when it recycles or refreshes. I guess that'd be, what, 8 o'clock at night for me? Maybe 7? Yeah, around 7 for me dope uh so one more starter goal win one season ladder game when we need to have season season ladder unlocked have we oh i guess we have i guess we have it unlocked okay dope uh well i was gonna say i guess there's different forms of currency within the game we need i want to learn what they are uh buy spirit orbs with gold spirit orbs with the booster packs okay Buy anything in the armory with diamonds. Okay, let's before I go and uh, wrap it up, let's unlock this orb that I have. Show me what's inside this bad boy. Show me what's inside this bad boy. Oh, damn. Look at this. Two, I'm going to guess this is common. And then, like I said before, this is the rare. And then, mythic, epic, legendary, one of them. Here we go. You start at the bottom. Always start at the bottom. Windstopper. Uh, it's a 1-7 for 3. Ranged attackers must attack this minion first. Okay, so it looks like it looks like uh, there's something called a range attacker. Dope. Haven't seen that yet. And we have Jaxi, a minion, a 1-1 one, one for 2. Dying Wish, summon a 1-1 one, one ranged mini Jax in a random corner. I'm going to guess that's the ranged attacker that this guy's talking about. Let's look at the rare. Emperor, oh, sorry. Emerald Rejuvenator is a 4-4 four, four for 4 with opening gambit. Re restore 4 health to both generals. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's healing the opponent, but it's not bad. Number 1. Star's Fury. Summon a Wind Dervish with a Rush in front of each enemy minion in general. Bruh, I just thought about what that does. That's good. Wind Dervish is though is the one that I said was cool that I wanted to play. Rush means they can attack and move immediately. And it it's 
in front of each enemy minion and general. Bruh. That's OP. I like that. And for five, it's not bad either. Seeing as you start off with what, two mana? Uh, two mana, three mana? Uh, Aspect of the Worm. Transform any minion into the 4-4 four, four white drake with flying. Nearby friendly minions gain flying. Huh. I wonder if you could use this on opponents. Like, I feel like for you to trans for you to want to transform anything into a 4-4, four, four, I feel like that would be that is a terrible, terrible beast. But that's pretty dope. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. If you guys enjoyed this episode of me taking a look at Duelist and would love to see more, if you like the play, a, play a as well, feel free to check the description below. I'll have a link where you can check out the game on Steam for yourself. Uh, if you would like to see more here on the channel, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever I post more videos to the channel, like of games, me learning to play card games like Duelist as well as anything else that all play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on all play. This game's dope so far. This game's pretty dope. I wonder if there's a an app that I can use to play this on the go. That's what I really like. I'll see you guys later. Bye.